What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Godzilla. Drawing Godzilla a good few times. I haven't drawn him in a while. So we're going to draw him from the front. I've drawn him from the side, three quarter, but never like just looking at us. Because it's kind of trickier to draw him that way. I don't know why. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So let's give this a go. So we're going to start with like his big frowning sort of forehead, right? So he's looking at us with this bumpy kind of forehead line basically right that kind of takes up this way and this will eventually become like spikes at the end right so it'll become like a spike here and these go down his back obviously like layers above them just going sort of down his back then this way okay Right, and this is like frowning and all wrinkly and there's loads of textures and stuff on all this but we'll just get the main shapes in first we'll do the same thing on the other side right just to make it sort of even right just around like this these sort of spikes going down there and then we have some extra little frowns in the middle right like that so his eyes then are in underneath these eyebrow areas right so these tiny these real small eyes Right, like that, so like little sort of grains of rice, like very, very small, right? Right, and then these lizard-like eyes, so just these kind of slits, lines like that, okay? So we've got like eyelid lines and stuff coming around here. Lots of bags and wrinkles and stuff all coming around this eye, right? Going in towards the corner here. Same on this side. Ba -do -do -do. Do, do, do. so then the nose right so you've got this square kind of wrinkled nose so I guess you gotta do like it's the easiest way to do this right, so coming down say from the corner right we have these wrinkles that come around his face so these sorts of things, right? And these touch the back of the head, like they disappear up here. There's, there's a few of these layers of wrinkles, right? And the snarling sort of snout sort of area here. Right, and these things have all these textures on them. They're like gills, but they're like not gills. They're just like bags around his eyes. And the same on the other side, right? More around his cheeks and stuff. And this has all these curved lines and stuff on it. Right, so then the snout then kind of has these wrinkles and stuff that comes down. 
the square sort of snout here. And this will like bump around for like where the teeth are. It doesn't look like it has a, much of a gum line. It just comes all the way across. Like that. And then we have nostrils just in here. So we'll go like that way. It's kind of like a double bump. Like so. And this has all textures and stuff all around, right? Right, so the side of the mouth kind of goes up this way around the, the cheeks here at the bottom. And you can have some textures and stuff on this, wrinkles and things. And then teeth all coming down here and they're like, so they're like irregular shapes. Like there's big ones and small ones. They're not, they're not crazy big. Some of them are bigger than others. There's like real small ones here. That. And they're just they're mostly just at the front right so then the bottom jaw right so we've got so at the mouth like the corner of the mouth so they're just up here right the jaw starts to bump around right and it is kind of bumpy and scaly right and then it comes down to the chin curves down like that right and you do the same sort of thing this side and it'll curve down towards the chin like that okay and then the mouth is open right so we've got the gum line coming across this way all these bumps then for teeth and stuff just coming around here okay so this will be a sort of a bumpy sort of gum line and then there's like skin flaps and stuff in like inside here on the side of the mouth and then all the teeth inside so you just like add all these gnarly sort of bumpy different sizes and stuff right and there's some like another layer of gum sort of in here that has some teeth on it as well
right, and then we can just see his tongue going around to here. And then like all these sort of the bottom of the, the mouth sort of area, all these wrinkles and stuff. Like that. Right, so then there's like texture on the jaw, like scales and wrinkles and stuff as much as you want to put on this. Like that, right, so that's basically his face, right? So the head, quite flat, kind of comes around this way. Might have like a spike on top or something, just coming up here. Starts of some spikes starting to go around the skull, you know, back that way. And then like wrinkles and textures and stuff all. the skin so then the head becomes the neck right so it like has all these scales and stuff coming down here so it's quite bumpy and we've got like some spikes and stuff coming down from the cheeks in the side of the head There, and then some spikes coming down from the jaw. So like this mountain range of spikes going down this way. So this can go for uh, go down to about there. Nice. And then this takes off as neck muscle sort of thing and it's quite bumpy and you know spiky and stuff. That's quite wide as well. All right, so quite wide neck. All right, so then in the center of the neck, we have this sort of armored sort of triangular area, right? That just comes down this way. Right, and this has like sections of armor plating inside. And this will have all these textures on it too. some skin just around this right so he'll have like kind of collarbones but they're not they're not collarbones so it's kind of like just like this area of his neck just going this way right and it does go out towards the shoulders right? it's kind of like a chest muscle or something just here right and then the shoulder at the top of the collarbone comes around this way right so big shoulder muscle and then out here and it can be bumpy like it doesn't have to be smooth right so it's like a big shoulder muscle and then the inside of the shoulder muscle is like here right and then we have another armor plated section in the middle 
there. All right, so it's kind of like abs or something, but comes down that way. And then like another chest muscle line there. All right, and then like there's another neck muscle that runs up like this way. And then there's gills and loads of texture, right? So what well, tricep actually, the arm will go this way before I do that. And there's texture on this. This is like turtle shell, so it's like all these lines and stuff on it. Right. So that's your like your basic outline anatomy, right? So then we have gills. Gills on his neck and lots of scales and bumps and spikes and loads of stuff, right? So let's just go for it here. So coming out from each of these, we'll have like this kind of bumpy kind of gill coming around this way, right? And it'll just join like the skin here. to do one two how many do we see one two three four and a real small one like a real small fifth one like real tiny just here okay and these will have textures on them too sort of wrinkles down here, textures. Okay, and then same on this side. And then lots of sort of texture on all this. All right, so lots of wrinkles and stuff on his skin. And like on his chest and shoulders as well, you'll have these curving sort of wrinkle line scales just all coming down like this, kind of like a vector. So you're, you know, you're curving it around, going horizontal this way first. And then it'll go this way. So imagine like a hot air balloon kind of shape for his shoulders. And then you'll have like textures all here as well. Okay, so then like big spikes on the back of his neck, these huge layers of these. And I'm gonna do more on the other side because I want it to be kind of um, more visible on the other side. And, like glowing blue and stuff. So say here we'll go.
I'm just darkening up some of the lines under the gills just to sort of make it look like it's more shadowed. I'll come back to that. We'll just we'll add so another one of those here. And it's got all these loopy sort of coral reef kind of textures on them. Maybe another one here. Right, and like I said, I'm just going to make these darker just to show that there's like some shadow underneath them, that they're like, there's a space underneath them, you know, that the air is actually, you know, when he's breathing. just to differentiate those shapes from the rest. All right, and then just darkening up the collarbone lines. All right, but that's it. You can keep going with these kind of drawings forever. Like you can just keep adding stuff and textures and scales and things and like maybe like a scar like on the shoulder here what i think that'll do that is how to draw godzilla from the front hope it's helpful thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye